Hi, my name is Mr. Quack. Today we're gonna read this amazing story. Anansi learns a lesson. Anansi the spider lived alone and made his lunch the same time each day. One afternoon, Turtle stopped by. I hate to get in the way and inter interfere with your meal. But those bananas look wonderful, said Turtle. I'm so hungry. Anansi knew he should share with others. It was a big part of his culture, but he was hungry and didn't want to share. He decided to play a trick on Turtle. Please help yourself, Anansi said with a sly grin. Oh, Anansi tricked Turtle? Turtle reached for the food. Shouldn't you wash your hands? Asked Anansi. Oh, yes, Turtle said. When Turtle returned, Anansi said had eaten half of the bananas. I didn't want them to spoil, said Anansi. Turtle got closer and made another attempt to eat. Anansi stopped him again. Turtle, please go wash your hands, he said. Turtle, Turtle knew his hands were clean. But Anansi still thought they were filthy. However, Turtle was too shy and timid to say no. When he returned, Anansi had eaten the rest of the fruit. Ha ha! I tricked you, Turtle, said Anansi. You didn't get any bananas. Next. Turtle was angry at Anansi. He decided to teach that nasty spider a lesson. Please come to my house at the bathroom of the lake for dinner tomorrow, said Turtle. Anansi quickly said yes. He, lo he loved free food. Turtle couldn't trick Anansi alone, so he decided to ask Fish to get involved and help make a plan. Turtle found Fish at the lake. Fish, I need your help he said with your cooperation we can trick anansi anansi had tricked fish many times so fish was happy to help together the two friends created a clever plan i wonder what's next i hope turtle can get his food and then we're gonna find out more. Why is she angry? Let's continue to read the story. The next day, Anansi went to the lake. Fish met him at the water edge. Come, Anansi said, Fish, we will swim to Turtle's house together. Anansi jumped into the water. He was a clumsy and awkward swimmer. He was also very light. How will I ever get down to Turtle's house? He cried. Fish knew what to say. Grab some heavy stones, then you will sink, not float. And Nancy picked up two big stones, jumped into the lake and sat down. Down, Fish swam and sighed at Turtle's house. And Nancy saw a wonderful feast of fairies. Oh, he's happy. I wonder why. Welcome, Anansi, said Turtle. Drop those stones and help yourself. As soon as Anansi dropped the stones, he rocked to the surface of the lake. Anansi subtrued furiously. Fish and Turtle tricked me, he cried angrily. Back at the bottom of the lake, Turtle and Fish laughed and laughed. We worked together and taught Anansi a lesson, said Turtle. What a good way to solve a problem, said Fish. Let's eat. Oh, Turtle is very happy that he got to eat his food. Thank you for reading with me. Goodbye.